Hello and welcome to the lecture about the calorie tracking. Why this program isn't just about calorie tracking, it is a very important tool for you to start having the awareness of the energy value of foods and drinks that you're consuming consistently so that you start having the answers in your own mind what is actually uh, adding all up? So, all, because we spoke about the energy balance, so what? Where am I adding all these calories through consuming? And with calorie tracking, is the way how you can start having more awareness to it. So, I am going to encourage you to calorie track uh, for the reason, uh, literally just uh, counting money, which we're basically going to be talking uh, any minute. So you might ask yourself or uh, get really panicky, why do I need to track? If you are thinking about, if you are trying to save the money, you will have to start having an awareness on what you are spending your money, uh, what, are your expen you know, what are your expenses, how much you're earning, how much you're borrowing or uh, going and using uh, uh, credit cards. You know, if you want to start saving the money, that's the way how you're going to start saving the money. Uh, rather than just like, oh, okay, I'm just going to put this money aside. But I'm just going to tell you that there, you're going to learn in this course uh, millions of different different ways how to deal with kind of with food and how you can actually start changing your uh, uh, food preference uh, and food choices so that it actually gets you towards your goal. But I think it is it's the start with is that you really start need to start having the awareness of how much it's calories in the foods and drinks that you consume every single day. So this is not something that you will do permanently. This is something that is going to be a great tool for the awareness of how much uh, calories you consume every day. So what difference will it make? Um, first thing is, is you just have to ask yourself, are you achieving your weight loss goal? Ha have you uh, achieved your weight loss goal and you are struggling uh, how to maintain it or you're constantly yo-yoing? This is obviously, there's millions of different uh, uh, things that are affecting us, that it's um, increasing our overall food intake. But what is the most important thing is, let's see this in numbers, because what is not tracked cannot be measured. And when we track it, we are able to measure it. So potential challenges, um, it's obviously your resistance to it. Uh, you're, you're creating a meaning that uh, you don't want to get uh, you don't want, want to get obsessed about it. You you don't want this to affect your relationship with food. So I'd really like you to think about what meaning are you going to give to this tracking? Um, are you going to create it? This is something bad because it's not bad. Um, so really think about how you're going to respond respond emotionally towards this process. Because if you're looking from the perspective, okay, I want to learn and I want to see how much my uh, cost the coffee and uh, cake cost me, uh, you know, with energy value every single time I go and have it. How can I trade my, let's say, treats or pleasures, daily pleasures, into something that's not as um, highly dense, uh, having highly dense calorie value? So I just want you to start thinking in that sense. Um, if you're basically the, the challenge is kind of distraction uh, that you kind of that's something and let's say that it's not important, especially kind of how you're going to go longer in this process. You're going to start noticing that your goal suddenly becomes less important and you just forget about it. You say, like, "Oh, okay, today I'm actually I'm feeling really bad. My trousers look horrendous. I look horrendous in the mirror. I, I know now that I need to do something about it." Pay attention. You are working towards your goal and your goal has to be the ultimate focus. So there's no day here or day there. It's you have to really take this seriously. And if you're taking to reach your goal seriously, I'm going to promise you that you're going to get there. But using the distractions of every day will challenge you that you're not going to be able to, to stick to the things that matter to you because you will go into daily pleasures or short-term gratification. You're just like, oh, God. Um, <laughs> blimey. Okay. So um, so you basically need to really think about to stop eyeballing as well and guessing. So with the tracking, it's really important that you take food scale. 
and that you start seeing how much is that spoon of peanut butter? Is it actually how much uh, you think it is or is this actually how much it really is? Um, and this is one of the biggest things is occasional tracking. So please be aware, aware of that. So how to take tracking seriously? It's see it as money. You can only spend how much you, you have. That's it. If you are not having much money, you're not going to be able to spend it. You are not able to borrow it from anywhere. So I just want you to see exactly your calories as money counting. Okay. So first things I would like to, you to do is uh, to set the calorie target. Um, before you go into any apps, I'd like you to go to set a calorie target. You go. So I use these are the kind of my details. I just use this moderate exercise two, three times a week. So you can see, I've put here is my weight in kilos. You can obviously change it. Uh, my height, the age, uh, gender. So these are my basal metabolic rates. This is basically what you've learned in the energy, in energy, um, energy balance uh, lecture. Here, I want you to, so obviously you need to go into advanced mode. So you can put here how many times you're moving every single week or how many times you're doing exercise. And this is my total energy expenditure. So this is how much I am consuming every day for me to maintain my 66 kilos. If I would like to drop my body weight down, I will have to set a calorie deficit. So normally I would say if you're setting the um, calorie deficit, that's going to be 500 calorie deficit. If you want to lose one pound of half a kilo per week or to be in a deficit of if you are looking overall weekly, so you're basically taking your daily uh, allowance and multiply it by seven and you're going to be able to calorie cycle however you want on each day. But the most important is for you to think about, I need to hit three and a half thousand calorie deficit this week to lose half a pound, half a kilo or uh, half, one pound per week. If you, okay, this is really important. Okay, uh, so this is really important. If you find with calorie tracking that you can't stick to, let's say for me is 1,600, 1,700. And if I constantly go over that target, I'd really like you to think the wise thing to do is to increase that calorie target. So to 1,800 and then do your best to stick to 1,800. If you're constantly, let's say, seeing that you're going over your calories, then you need to uh, think about your emotional state, which obviously we're going to be talking in, in uh, this, this program. But also what's really important is this, set a protein target. You can, uh, on the two apps that I'm going to tell you, you can put your daily required protein. So if you basically put in kilos and multiply by two, you will be shocked that it's going to be high daily protein target. And this is something for you not to hit every single day, but it's something to work towards. By increasing the protein target, as you can see in a protein lecture, is so important to keep your hunger aside. You are going to feel fuller for longer if you're consuming the protein every day, at least two times a day. And, uh, and you know, you will need to start being creative. How to hit more protein target, how to increase my protein. This is now something that you will face as a challenge. Embrace the challenge, love the challenge, and take it on board and say, okay, what do I need to do here? Watch the protein lecture, you're having a lot of examples there. Uh, so the next thing is to download the app tracker or the calorie tracker. I would highly recommend NutriCheck. I'm using that one, it's four pounds per month. Uh, it's just completely different than MyFitnessPal. I just, um, I found my fitness pal is just to me, it's not welcoming. I don't, I, I was never able to stick to for a long period of time and I was tracking. But NutriCheck, you can set your reminders for water, for seeing how much uh, fruit and veg you're consuming so that it's health orientated. So I would really, really highly recommend that you download the app tracker. Um, so 
also kind of one of the things as well, you are going to have, you know, the calories in those both apps are going to be, okay, you're going to go in the app and then the calories are calculated for you. If they're too far off from what you set yourself to be your target, then it's basically if you um, if you just go on uh, NutriCheck uh, or MyFitnessPal and you just basically Google it and if you need any answers there, you can literally find it all online. But you can set on both your um, a personal, uh, you know, your own per- personal target so that you change how you want. And I would highly recommend that. So, and then start tracking. Uh, basically, I would recommend that you weigh everything. Absolutely everything. You might feel, oh, this is boring. You'll get used to it. The more you do it, uh, the more you will get used to it and less time is going to require. And I'm just going to tell you, you're going to have the real answers. What is really going on in your daily habits when it comes to your food, uh, food intake? So this is one of the things one not to do. Do not connect the apps with smartwatch or your um or your phone, you know, like to check actually how many steps because there's constantly going to be increasing your calories by energy, what you've spent, and that's not what you want. Do not guess the amount, you need to weigh it. Don't do it every now and then. What did I say do it every now and then? Don't do it every now and then. If you're doing this, you're doing it for a whole time. And do not stop counting when you go over your calorie target. That's the whole point. You have to keep... um, you have to keep uh, tracking. You need to see, okay, where is your cutoff point? And it's one of the biggest things as well. Also, just to remind you about oils and butters and nuts and seeds, they are very high in calories. Uh, Sources, I I highly recommend that you put that all on scale or you can take that cup measures and let's see really how much you are consuming and then I'm going to tell you every single person who works with me they you know there's always they're shocked with what they're putting on their plate thinking it's really healthy but it's high in calories and that's actually what's causing you to struggle with losing weight and one of the biggest things not to do is to give up I mean why giving up if you choose that your goal is something that you're going to work towards and you're going to get there that requires the attitude that uh, giving up is not an option. Um, what approach to have to tracking? See it as learning. Really open up your mind to think about, okay, I'm really curious how much I am consuming every day rather than, oh my God, I need to track and I need, if I'm not tracking, I'm not going to lose weight. No, learning, you're learning. It will also give you the clarity how much you actually consume. That's one of the biggest eye openers. Also, adjust your calorie target if it feels unachievable. Lots of women would first thing is be like, oh, I need to lose 10 kilos in 10 days and I'm going to drop my calories to 1,000 calories. No, wait a minute. You are changing this for a long term. This is not something, you're not, you're not okay. If you go and if you're on 1,200 calories, um, I'm going to tell you, you, you are going to become so hungry in a few weeks that you'll crash and eat everything that's in front of you. And we don't want that here. So please do adjust your calorie target accordingly and start finding where is um, doable for you, where it feels comfortable, but still you're still challenging yourself, but it doesn't feel impossible. And I'm going to say to you, it's better for you to get slower results, even if it's a half a pound a week. Uh, but if you know that you can keep up that pace, I mean, oh my God, it's like in six months, you're going to lose a significant amount of weight. But it's really important that you prevent everything to not give up. Ask for help and enjoy tracking. Uh, I am really looking forward to see you on our Facebook group. Uh, Make sure you comment below this lecture. Do let me know what are your thoughts about it? What are your calorie targets? And let's do this.